So if you're like me, you have your Virtual Boy, but something is wrong with either one or both of the screens. Either the image is garbled, there are horizontal lines of interference, or the screen is just completely dark. The problem is that the connection between the main board and the screen gets loose over time. Good news, there is a way to fix it. The most permanent solution is to solder each individual lead of the ribbon cable to the lens. Taking this route requires advanced soldering skills and is very difficult. Sending your Virtual Boy to be professionally repaired is also an option. The other DIY method is heat treatment. By heating up the connection point, the ribbon cable can re-adhere to the lens. Many heat treatment methods exist out there, like using a heat gun, a soldering iron, and even an oven. But the best method, and the one I chose, is with a covering iron. I went from having one screen completely dark, to having both screens working perfectly. Let's get into the tutorial. The tools for this procedure are the covering iron, a sock, a cutting board, and a security bit screwdriver. I will provide a link to the exact covering iron I used in the description of this video. Start by taking off the eye shroud. Simply pull from the tabs and it will pop right out. Next, remove the screws beneath the system. Make sure you have a long screwdriver like this. A short security bit will not be able to reach into those deep screw wells. Next, identify the broken lens and remove the ribbon cable attached to the motherboard. There's nothing to unlock here. Just gently pull to remove the cable. Get the speaker out of the way, and remove the other two screws. Now you are ready to fire up the covering iron. Slip a sock over the covering iron. Make sure the sock is 100% cotton, otherwise it will burn the sock. Set the temperature on the iron. I set mine to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, or 163 degrees Celsius. This is the same temperature that Rock Solid Productions chose for his fix. While the iron is heating up, set the lens on the edge of the cutting board with leads facing up. Be careful not to smudge the lens if possible. When the iron is all heated up, gently press it evenly over the connection and hold it here. Try holding for at least 30 to 60 seconds, and be sure to apply just a little bit of pressure throughout. Put the lens back in its place, reassemble, and test if it's working. There's a little bit of trial and error in this phase, so if you don't see the results you want, try and repeat the ironing steps. It seems like the longer you expose the heat, the more results you will see. I recommend holding the iron down longer before you try to increase the temperature of the iron. Before you close everything up, you'll need to do one more step, and this is very important. You need to find some way to apply pressure to the ribbon cable. There are a couple ways of doing this, like with silicone tape, but I chose to 3D print a brace designed by Ben Heck himself. This brace hugs the lens on one side and uses a screw on the other side. Also, fasten a thin piece of styrofoam in between the brace and the lens. At first, I didn't bother with this step, and I got a glitchy screen a day later. After doing this step, my Virtual Boy has been working perfectly for over a week. I'll keep you updated in the description of this video if anything changes. So, if you did the fix and everything is working normally, great, you're done. But, if you still have trouble even after following these steps, I've got you covered. I had to open up the Virtual Boy over five times after my initial fix in order to get it tuned in right. Here are some of the problems I ran into and how I dealt with them. If you noticed annoying horizontal lines across one of your screens, you may think that it's time to try again with the heat treatment, but actually I found that these horizontal lines come from the other end of the ribbon cable. Closely inspect the leads of that upper cable. You may find that one of the leads has bent down. Straighten it out and gently reinsert it to fix the problem. You can also try gently jiggling the cable to get those lines to go away. By the way, you can plug in the Virtual Boy while it's opened to see if it's working. Just be careful not to touch any electrical components while it's turned on. Normally, adjusting the interpupillary distance, or IPD dial, will slide the screens toward or away from each other. But if you notice that one of the screens goes dark at a certain point, odds are your grounding wire is loose on one of the lenses. Tighten it up and you shouldn't have to worry about it anymore. That's all I have for troubleshooting right now. If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to ask in the comments. Also, check the description of the video for any updates on this ongoing project. Thanks for watching my tutorial, and good luck!